Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise here. This is Steeler Nation and this is episode number 9 as uh, we are getting ready here for the uh, offseason here. But before we do that, show you guys a quick look at some statistics here as we were kind of do a quick review on what happened at the Super Bowl. Um, to be honest, not the uh, a great Super Bowl, high scoring for Super Bowl. Uh, but not the most uh, <laughs> well um, defensive type of uh, football. And I think uh, if you're a fan of the of the offense, especially these two teams that can put up some numbers here, uh, I think a lot of you guys will uh, appreciate it. If you're not and you're looking for a close defensive game, uh, that kind of uh, seesaw back and f or kind of uh, the momentum kind of seesaw back and forth, and you're looking to see who's going to have that. Uh, that you know that one good possession here to um, you know uh, to be able to see the game that was not here uh, you wouldn't be able to find that um, you know necessarily here uh, in this ball game uh, let's take a look here at some of the numbers there and uh, what uh, who did what and, and, and so on and so forth um, and there you see the 25 yards there was penalized by the by the Steelers. Of course, only five yards. It was a whole, uh, you know simple uh, offensive play there that uh, the Seahawks had. They got a five yard penalty. So uh, penalty wise, I think this should have been called. It wasn't really too much balance uh, when it comes to penalty calls. It seemed like they were calling a lot more on the Steelers than they were on the Seahawks. Take a look here, Ben Roethlisberger. His numbers, uh, 502 yards, uh, five, seven touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, that's a record right there for the touchdowns for a Super Bowl. 25-32 uh, for him for the season, so 70% of his passes completed. Um, as for Russell Wilson, three touchdowns, one interception, um, which uh, that one was taken back. That interception was actually taken back for pick six. Um, and then you see 15-23, uh, um, so 65% of his passes were completed so almost pretty similar in uh, of how they play the game um, and for the most part here it's just it was uh, it was really all about the quarterbacks what they could do in the game along with their receivers and also their uh, backs here as we'll see uh, Bell 136 yards uh, one touchdown for him 30 carries there in the game 18 carries for 120 yards there for Ross, as he has one touchdown, he did have a fumble, uh, which uh, we end up taking that and then turn around and scoring on that on offense. Uh, so Thomas Ross, one of those uh, up and coming uh, young uh, halfbacks, uh, he'll be around with that series or that uh, excuse me, that uh, series organization for a long time. Uh, now we move on and see the, the def uh, receivers here: uh, Darius Green, seven receptions, 159 yards. And, of course, he had that four touchdowns in the game. Congratulations to him on four big plays there, scoring. And uh, just go back home and get rested up for that, that four. Now we go to, uh, actually, see Sammy Coe's there. Uh, he had an amazing catch there in the game. Um, <laughs> uh, and I, well, I was going to show you guys here on the channel what I've, if I can make that kind of catch. And honestly, I don't think I can make that kind of catch. Uh, Sam Coe's did a great job, just, you know, pr pr pretty much just boxed out the guy, uh, the defender there, and going up and getting that jump ball there, which was honestly, uh, I think it was the most awesome thing um, I've ever seen. <laughs> um, so we'll see. Um, again, there you see uh, Jimmy uh, Graham, his numbers there uh, for or at least, at least we're told, he had a stat. Uh, yeah, um, Oh, we call, uh, well, I can't think of it right now. But anyway, <laughs> we'll go ahead and uh, get to the defensive side of the ball here. And uh, we'll see def defensively there. You see Cam Chancellor. Um, there you see he had a great game there. He had a pick six that he took back from on to Ben Roethlisberger. That's one of the two interceptions uh, caused by Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, Rich Sherman was kind of very quiet in the game there. We didn't uh, have too much to deal with him. Uh, but, you know, like I said, Cam Ch Chancellor there, you see him. Uh, yeah, he just just was 
Um, he just had that pick. He just had that pick and just did a great job there taking that back. But yeah, uh, for the most part here, there are you know other um, player guys here that defensively did a great job, uh, like uh, Tim's and all them. Um, you know, there was some, like I said, defensively it was horrible. Um, you know, def- both defenses they didn't really step up on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, it was just great, and and in some ways I kind of expected that um, in this road show, but uh, not you know, um, you know, not uh, I, I thought it was gonna be a, a, not a high scoring game as it as it made itself out to be. So that was actually um, you know unfortunate, but uh, it happened. So. We'll see if uh, we can turn that around here, um, you know, for the next game. Uh, But, yeah, overall, the Super Bowl uh, was a a huge success. And we'll see, um, you know, uh, we'll see hopefully the series will be able to get back here next year. Uh, But, like, with, like I I said, uh, past episodes, uh, you know, this upcoming draft will be about uh, drafting guys that we feel comfortable with, so. We'll have to uh, step back and kind of take it in and see um, if there's a team going to take us to, uh, you know, um, challenge us next, more next year. Uh, we'll see if we can get those uh, defensive uh, part, you know, things going on for us uh, in that aspect. So we'll see uh, here. That there's some some of those injuries there. Some of those injuries will be. Um, will be healed up. Um, I think uh, the only the pre, I think it's the only one we have to worry about. He has that torn uh, bacterial. Uh, so he'll be out for, you know, more weeks. Maybe that's in nine weeks there, you see. But, uh, you know, overall, it's going to be a nice job. It's going to be nice to have all these guys come back because uh, we'll actually be able to do something here and, um, you know, hopefully pull a victory here. Um, so as we go ahead and get close to wrapping up here, I want to show you guys one more thing. And that is if um, uh, books, the books for us so far, um, as we'll see here, uh, I got some of those players uh, that we uh, <laughs> that are on our books. Uh, we go ahead and sign them to a practice squad deal there. Uh, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh, and I actually t- speaking of that, we got a couple guys there. I, I've already just kind of decided that they're going to be probably be brought up uh, towards uh, the beginning of the season. Uh, as for uh, resigning staff, here we got to resign. Uh, we're going to resign our head coach. Uh, of course, that's being Mike Timlin. Uh, and then our, also our um, prospect coach, or, or excuse me, uh, scouting coach there. We'll see him in uh, more in, involved in here. But um, yeah, we're just going to sign here. We're going to give Mike this uh, cash here, see what he says about signing with us. And then. Um, We'll try to, uh, I, I know he has his own thing. He doesn't want to do a whole, you know, well, you can't see that on television type of kind of uh, deal here. So we'll, we'll try to run on his account and, um, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll, we'll see what other scouts we can possibly get here um, and other, uh, you know, trainers like that here uh, after this, uh, we sign these guys. But I think for right now, we're going to probably end up uh, releasing Wash. Uh, I think I can go ahead and show that here. We're going to go ahead and get him later. Uh, we have a um, chance to do so. Uh, but, yeah, uh, let's go ahead look at some of the transactions here so far. And uh, we got some pretty good names in here. Um uh, some a lot of them right now are just re-signing some two-year contracts here, um, and I think uh, I think uh, 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 I can't think. Top of my head here, Sam, it's been a bad day. <laughs> Trying to memorize some of the stuff here for you guys, but uh, for the most part, uh, we got quite a few signs here, and, and like I said, we'll get to our side re-signing here here in just a couple episodes here. Um, actually, episode 10, 11, and tw- I think episodes 10 through 15 of uh, sport of the uh, Steeler Nation here will be about uh, scouting. So we'll see scouting from all points, uh, all of, all of the uh, five or six rounds we'll have our trial, our uh, uh, draft picks uh, coming up. We'll show you guys uh, who we are looking at in uh, 
in the draft and, and scouting and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be coming up here very, very shortly here on the channel. So thank you guys so much for uh, sticking around and uh, you know, listening to me just yeah wrong. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more uh, Pittsburgh Series franchise here on uh, ESGN Net. Um, but yeah, we'll leave, we'll go ahead and leave you guys here, and um, I'll see you guys next time.